Welcome to week 20 update with me, Leslie. I'm still pregnant. Week 20. Y'all, we're like halfway there. It's gone by pretty fast, I'd say. A lot faster than when you do an adoption, that's for sure. And y'all, don't be alarmed. You may see, see somebody creeping behind me. That's just Barkley on her birthday chilling out on the back of the couch. Usually, well I say usually, but I mean I've only done two of these videos, but the past two videos I've done at night, and so now I'm doing this one during the day. I can talk louder, Pace is not in the bed, the dogs are probably going to be roaming about. I mean that's just our life with three dogs during the day, and it's raining. But let's get to the update. So week number 20, can y'all see? He's coming on out. What do I wanna share about this week? Really, it's just a continuation of week 19 update. Did y'all see that vlog? If not, I'll link it above. My main thing that's been happening a lot more is uh, these hormones. I mean, good grannies. I, will cry at anything. How does that make you feel, Leslie? I don't know how bad it will make me cry. And everything. And then I will get extremely mad about anything and everything too. So they're just becoming more and more intense as we go along. I don't know if that's really normal or not, but uh, that's kind of how it is been with me thus far. I guess that started about week 18 when all of my hormones started kicking it up in full gear. So, so now it's just becoming quite normal and I don't really like it. Another thing that's been happening is before, like the past few weeks, I haven't really been that hungry. Obviously, I eat when I'm hungry like a normal person, but I'm talking about not really like pregnant hungry like I was especially in the beginning and so I feel like that's kind of ramped back up a little bit and that explains why I've been more tired this past week than I have been within the past couple of weeks too. I will say last week's tiredness wasn't all because I feel like he's growing but because I just haven't been sleeping very well. Usually I sleep with pillows all around me like that's just my normal sleeping habit that I've been doing since I was a little girl. Funny story, not really funny, but story about my childhood. I remember when I first moved into my big girl bed from the crib, you know, back in the 80s, <laughs> mid 80s, we didn't have these convertible cribs where, you know, it takes you through the stages of a child, you know, transitioning their sleep to a normal size bed. So I went straight from a crib to a full size bed. Actually the bed that Paisley has, the exact same one. And mom said I was 18 months old when I requested to make that transition to the big girl bed. Uh, no, no, no. Actually I was 14 months old when I made that transition from crib to big girl bed. Mom said I was very adamant about moving to that bed from the crib, which, you know, kind of helped them because uh, four months later after that, Sissy came along. So she needed the crib anyway. I remember I had those uh, metal bed rails on either side and there wasn't like mesh or anything or like slats really to kind of keep me from falling through and I mean I just remember there's like a top rail and a bottom rail and if I wanted to I could have rolled through those onto the floor I mean there was no like stopping me from falling onto the floor when I was 14 months old so mom said that she put pillows up on on the rails to kind of keep me from falling through onto the floor. So that's kind of transitioned my sleep into adulthood of needing, then you will say needing, those pillows all around me. But I will say it has helped during the pregnancy to kind of give me more back support and 
and hip support and all that good stuff. But my pillows just weren't cutting it and I was extremely tired. Like I, I can't remember what night it was, maybe Wednesday or probably Wednesday night. I, last Wednesday night, I did not sleep well at all. So anyways, Daniel and Paisley this past weekend went and bought me a pregnancy pillow and let me just say, that is like a game changer. I know people say those things are huge and massive. Granted, we have a king size bed and I will say it is huge and extremely massive, but it works. And really, Daniel's kind of used to, to the pillows anyway, so it really wasn't that big of a change as far as he goes with sleeping. In fact, it might be, I don't know, Daniel can correct me on this, but it might be even a little bit smaller than all the other pillows that I had before. Other than that, it's been great and I really enjoyed it. Something else that I've finally been able to do, hopefully, is I've been able to wean myself off of taking Mucin XD. Y'all, do not get sick as a pregnant person. Well, people can't get pregnant, but ladies, do not get sick when being pregnant because it takes forever. Are you reading my mouth, reading my lips? Forever to get over whatever it is you've got. The simplest of a cold can take months to get over because there's nothing you can take. There's no shot they can give you. I'm all about me getting a shot. Like, bring on a shot, people, so that way I can go ahead and get over this funk, whatever it is, and I can get on with my life, give me whatever medication I need afterwards. But no, when you're pregnant, guess what? You have to buy some weak, over-the-counter meds and just take those and pray for God to hurry and heal your body and rest and drink your fluids and take some vitamin C. Make sure you're taking your prenatals. Seriously, how ridiculous. <sighs> Anyways, that is the one thing. Well, there's probably more. But that is at the very top of my list of a negative of being pregnant is when you get sick, there's really nothing you can do about it. So good luck about that. Another thing I will say, prayer report, is that I have not had as many headaches slash migraines as I did before I was pregnant. I think I talked about this uh, in my first vlog, my first pregnancy vlog, but I haven't had as many headaches, not as many migraines, thank goodness, because let me tell you people, if you suffer from chronic migraines and the changing of the weather, food you may eat, stress, whatever it is that can cause your migraines. Let me tell you how crippling those can be. Pretty crippling. So to not have those has been a huge blessing. So thank you, Henry, for lessening those. I sure do appreciate it. Maybe we just need to call this pregnancy update soapbox update because I'm feeling extremely soapboxy today for some reason. Uh, and that's another thing too, like before pregnancy, I wasn't very vocal or outspoken or to the point as I am now. And I feel like <laughs> probably because of my hormones, I just don't really care. Like if I'm going to say something, and I feel like people need to hear it, I'm going to say it. Sometimes it just comes out without me even, like, thinking about it. It just comes right on out. So sometimes it, I can come across as being rude or insensitive. And that's probably because I am being rude and insensitive. You know, some of the time I do apologize for being rude and insensitive, especially towards Daniel and Paisley. I mean... Sometimes you just gotta be rude and insensitive. And so, <laughs> so anyways, if I'm feeling like it, if I feel like I need to say something, I just say it, Landon, I just don't even care. I was like this, but whatever. Pre-pregnancy, Leslie would never like say those things. And I even, even if I felt like I should say those things, I would think, oh my gosh, what are people gonna think? What are people gonna say? 
What if they backfire with a statement at me? Pregnancy Leslie is like this. Oh well. This I feel like is probably not going to change when uh, Henry comes. I don't know, maybe it will. Maybe it'll go back to being how it was before. I don't know, probably not. And maybe this comes too with being a mother. Now granted, I'm already a mother, but my body did not go through all of the physical changes, the hormone changes with the adoption like it's going through now. Not saying that my body didn't go through changes during the adoption and go through some emotionalness with hormones and stuff during the adoptions, but it's different, a different kind of change, if you will. So maybe this time it's kind of solidifying like, all right, here I am, I'm a mom, mama bear's coming out, and I don't really care. So anyways, <laughs> again, what is up with today in Soapbox? week 20 update <sighs> let's see what else do we got going on i will say too i feel like he's kind of protruding out more to the front and not so wide feeling i mean granted i do feel like a huge hippopotamus at times but i feel like he's kind of gonna be like a torpedo and <laughs> just pew on out but we'll see about that i mean i still feel like an elephant and you know I don't like putting on clothes and getting ready to go out but I don't think that's going to change over the next 20 or so plus weeks that's all right we'll just deal with it and he's so worth it I'll have work to do once he gets here after I heal and rest but anyways friends I think that's all the update I have for today and probably all you want to hear about me soapboxing and complaining and stuff about so I have enjoyed our time together this week I look forward to our time together next week as I see how Henry is going to be growing how my body is going to be responding to all of the changes and everything uh, that we have to look forward to over the coming weeks but i hope y'all have a blessed day and thank y'all so much for watching make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my pregnancy updates any of our family vlogs and i will talk to y'all soon bye y'all a burpee. Excuse me. This will probably be in the vlog.